I grew up in a small village in Northamptonshire in the east of England. I wanted to be an archaeologist or an engineer like my father growing up. I was a curious kid. I was always into extracurricular stuff. Computer building, 3D modelling, you name it. I was even in a band for 10 years where I played bass guitar and I was the lead singer. I was working at Transport for London when Oricon approached me. I'd never been to Melbourne before, but I've always liked to push my own boundaries. So here I am, digital leader of Oricon's infrastructure market, living in a city constantly awarded the most livable in the world. The move set a new pace for me from the start. Within a few weeks, I actually had the opportunity to speak at Parliamentary House, to contribute to an inquiry into the role of smart ICT and infrastructure. It was one of the most incredible moments of my career, a definite milestone for me. I'm excited about the important role that digital will play in our future, and I enjoy being part of that movement. With proper support and direction, the future is looking bright. I love being able to help shift perspective. My time so far at Oricon has given me the opportunity to do just that. Being able to work in a city like Melbourne and contribute to projects that will have such great impact on communities with multinational teams is very rewarding to say the least. I love working with people from all over the world. I have learned so much about different cultures. Moving to the other side of the world can be quite daunting. However, Oricon helped me through the whole relocation process and made everything a whole lot simpler. When I moved to the city, I was surprised by a few things, like how good Melbourne's tram network is, its unique buzz, and all the great places to eat, drink, or watch live music. The city has a coffee culture like no other. It's totally ingrained in the Melbourne psyche. I've personally found a new respect and appreciation for its role in my mornings. And of course, the local slang. At first, I did think servo was some type of electronic server, only later realising it was what the Aussies call a service station. You never know where life can take you, but I'm happy I took the plunge and dived into Oricon. I'm learning every day and continue to be inspired by my colleagues and the new places I'm lucky enough to explore. <laughs>